Today is a very special day because my camera is wrapped up on a pile of books because, well, my tripod has gone through some very difficult times. Alright, so we're just gonna get right into it, starting with things I put on my face that are not makeup. Well, I guess I don't put this on my face, I technically put it in my face because it goes in my mouth. This is Too Faced! Yay for no dragon breath and also clean teeth. This is the Tom's Anti-Plaque and Whitening Spearmint Gel Toothpaste. This is my first time buying a Tom's toothpaste, but I like it. I think it's great. It's very refreshing and, you know, it seems like it gets the job done. On the back here it says no animal testing or animal ingredients, and we strive to maximize recycled content and recyclability of our packaging. Yay for responsible consumption! Now for things that I actually put on my face and not in my face. Oh my goodness, I have discovered a face wash that I love so much. This is the Tammy Fender Cleansing Milk with Lavender and Faux Tea. I don't know what Faux Tea is. I should probably look that up. I can't even tell you how much I love this. This is an incredible facial cleanser and it's all natural too. So it's really gentle, it's great for all skin types and I just love how simple and easy it is to use. You just put a pump into your hand and it's like this thick creamy formulation. It smells really lovely, just like a very subtle lavender smell. So it's great, especially if you use it at night. You put it on your face dry so you don't need any water and then you just take a warm washcloth and wipe it all off and that's it. It almost feels like a cleanser and a lotion had a baby and then you're putting that on your face and then washing it off. If you have drier skin this is a fantastic thing to use every single day but since my skin is a little bit more oily I kind of use this as a special quick treatment for my skin. I feel like the more that I've switched over to really gentle more natural products my skin has just been like yay 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 keep doing that. BT Dubs I've been getting a lot of questions about how I got rid of my acne and hyperpigmentation because if you watch my old videos then you will see that I had pretty bad acne and pretty bad hyperpigmentation. So if you want me to do like a video talking about my skin story, I suppose, let me know in the comments below because that's something that I would definitely, definitely do just for you. Alright, so last skincare thing which I actually should not throw around in the air because the bottle is glass. This is the Elizabeth Den for One Love Organics Vitamin C Brightening Facial Serum and this is another like all natural product that I really love. I use this every other night because in between I use my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I think this is actually more hydrating than the Kiehl's oil which is why I don't use this every single night and I like to alternate between the two. I think it's great especially if you're trying to get rid of any kind of discoloration on your skin. Vitamin C is great for that and it's just meant to help brighten your skin and also moisturize. Ooh, look at the makeups. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the good stuff right here. Ooh, where am I even going to start? So many new things. Oh my gosh, I have discovered a mascara that I think I like better than the Tarte mascara. It is the CoverGirl Super Sizer mascara. And oh man, this is going to be a problem for me because I just really, really love it. The wand is different. It has a curved shape to it. And then the bristles are different sizes. So you basically put this up against the base of your lashes and then roll upwards. I have to say, I have never used a mascara that holds a curl like this one. Everyone asks me if I'm wearing false lashes because they're just so big. But have no fear, I have not abandoned Tarte because this month I've been in love with this eyeliner. Oh my god, this is another baby. This is like a savior baby for me. It is the Tarte Skinny Smolder Eyes Mascara. Black eyeliner on this end, little smudgy smudger on this end. And the reason why I got this is because I love the NARS Larger Than Life eyeliner. I've been using it for years now. But what I've noticed is that my eyes kind of burn when I use it and I think my eyes have just become more sensitive as I've gotten older. So products from other makeup brands tend to irritate you. Tarte is a great brand to try out. I will have to sharpen it because it's not self sharpening but hey, if it doesn't burn my eyes I am willing to do many, 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 many things in return. Did you hear that eyeliner? This could be the start of a beautiful love affair. 
You guys know I love bright lips and my new favorite orange lipstick is this one from Milani. It's called Sweet Nectar. It's this orange color that I have on right now. I love how hydrating this is and it's not a super matte color. So it has a little bit of a sheen to it. It also kind of tastes nice. I don't think it's supposed to have a scent. I don't know, this kind of smells like melon to me like cantaloupe, and funny enough, I don't like cantaloupe, but I guess I like it when lipstick smells like cantaloupe. Hmm, who knew? I'm running out of my Smith's Minted Lip Balm, which I love, but it's also a little bit difficult to find in the squeezy tube. So I got this one from Kiehl's recently. It is the Eucalyptus Lip Relief. It feels like a Kiehl's lip balm texture wise, but because of the eucalyptus, it has like a slight cooling sensation to it. But I will say it's not as strong as the Smith's Minted Rose Lip Balm, which is absolutely lovely and heavenly. And thank you to the viewer who got me not one, but two of those, and I have used both of them. <laughs> so what do you guys think of my shirt today? Do you like it? Hmm? 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 I quite like it, if I do say so myself. I think it's pretty great, and if you don't think it's pretty great, then you know, you can just boop, 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 go somewhere else. Bye. Just kidding, I'm not gonna tell you to go away if you don't like my shirt. People have different tastes. I don't expect everybody to love this shirt, but I love it because one, it's super soft, two, it says life is charred, three, it's green, and I really, really love this shade of green, mostly because I love wearing orange lipstick with it, because then it makes me feel like a reverse carrot. Anyway, I got this shirt at West Elm Market, really random place to find a shirt, but they had all of these amazing punny shirts. I get a size bigger just because I like my shirts to be a little bit longer and looser. It's really awesome, and I wear it all the time. Ooh yeah, it's snacky time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I guess this makes me look like I'm five. One thing that I do almost every day is I take a 20 minute power nap, usually around three o'clock in the afternoon. I like power naps because they help re-energize me, especially since I get up a little bit earlier in the morning. So by the time three o'clock rolls around, I've been up for like nine hours and my body's like, ah! And so when I wake up from that to feel even more refreshed and to kind of get myself back into like human moving mode, I will have one of these chia squeeze snacks. The strawberry banana is my favorite. I order these in bulk and keep them in the fridge. It's like a jelly consistency that tastes fruity with chia seeds in it. And you just unscrew the top and then squeeze it into your mouth. And then I usually have that with some snackables. And my personal favorite is the double chocolate. You know, just to have something a little bit sweet and chocolatey. I like these guys, so. Feel free to take a screenshot right now and use the caption, this is 26, hashtag adult. Today, we have a new friend. Now this guy does not have a name yet, but I think maybe his name should be Miracle because this definitely is a miracle in my life. Reasons why this thing is a miracle. Number one, it costs $2.99 in Little Tokyo. Miracle number two, it's blue, my favorite color. The third and biggest miracle is that you can get knots out of your shoulders and neck area by using this thing. It has like a little bird head and this beak will go into any knots that you have and it's just amazing, especially if you sit at a computer for a long period of time every single day. You tend to get a lot of tension in your neck, your shoulders, your back, and this is just so, so amazing. This is the best $3 I've ever spent. I've been obsessed with the song Electric Love. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna link the music video down below. The music video is crazy, but also really cool. And this is just a very catchy song that will probably most likely get stuck in your head because I tweeted this earlier in the month and people really liked it. Yeah, I haven't stopped listening to it. It's a great song. And it also has a personal meaning to me that will stay personal, but it's wonderful and makes me really happy when I listen to it. Ingrid goes off to blush now. A book that I have been reading and loving is The Life-Changing Magic of 
tidying up. The Japanese Art of Decluttering and Organizing by Marie Kondo. I have been all about the less is more philosophy. It has brought me so much joy and happiness because having a small amount of things that I really love makes me so excited to use those things or wear those things every single time. I use them. So one random thing that I have learned from this book is how to fold my clothing. And normally I would fold my clothing and then stack them flat on top of each other in drawers. But after reading this, I now fold my clothing into little rectangles and then I put everything on its side. So it's almost like your clothes become little books. You can see every single thing that's in there and then just pull it out when you need it. This book was given to me as a gift and it's incredible. I love it. I highly recommend it. Well friends, that's going to be it for my favorites this month. I hope you enjoy my new little plant friend back there that I know you can't really see. You know, let's give this plant its time in the spotlight. This plant has been waiting for this moment. I mean, this is the real star of the show. Look at these colors! Can you guys help me name this plant? Because everything in my life needs a name and I feel like she's just so beautiful. She can't go nameless. What are we gonna name this plant? All right, I'm gonna get going. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you. So many kisses and I'll see you later. Peace out.